This is your loot, and this is your ship, and this is your loot on your ship, and this is another pirate with his keg on your ship, and this is your ship blowing up, and this is you without a ship, and this is your loot being sold because it wasn't protected. Imagine being able to protect and secure your loot even if you sink with a pinch of your patience. This is possible and easier than you think by connecting a few different game mechanics, such as burying treasure, map bundles, and specific locations on the map. Even if they sink you and acquire your map, your loot is still protected. Hi, I'm Fuzzy Bond. I will show you how to make this possible with these three steps. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Before we begin, let's set the stage. Losing loot to thieves is a common occurrence in these waters. Pirates set sail, their eyes glaze with gold, and they try to steal your treasure. Sometimes, stealing is even required for specific commendations, so expect it. But it doesn't mean we can't be prepared for it. While I always encourage fighting when you feel ready, sometimes you may need more time to face the enemy, or you simply don't feel like it. Before doing anything, always sail away. Try to board the enemy while keeping your ship safe and assess their capabilities. Sometimes the enemy is strong, and other times the ones chasing you are easy to take down and nothing more than an angry chihuahua. Do not be intimidated by their ship's appearance or reaper flag. Judge the player's performance by boarding them and seeing how the actual player reacts. You can escape and secure the loot or turn around and take them down based on your information. This is the initial pre-step you must commit to at any time of your encounters. Knowing the enemy is winning half the battle. Do not make decisions based on an unknown enemy. You are the captain and the decision is yours. Now let's say you want to secure the loot and are not ready to sell yet. As your session is still in its infancy, maybe you want to sell during rush hour or do not want to sell until your emissary flag is at level 5 so you can achieve these emissary rewards before the end of the month. So here are the three steps to secure your loot even if you sink, with a magnificent bonus tip that will keep you one step ahead. Choosing and preparing the correct ship affects how you execute the plan depending on ship size. Before anything, and regardless of ship size, turn off all the lights, including bottom deck ones, since these also clip through the hull from a distance. Additionally, always have a rowboat on, preferably a harpoon robot, and I'll tell you why later. If you are solo, you must do everything alone, so before taking any of the following steps and leaving your ship, make sure your ship is heading to clear waters. If you are a duo sloop, brigantine, or a galleon, then this is where you need to designate roles. While being chased and ensuring you are at a distance, there is no time to ask who's going to protect our loot. This is the step you should consider as soon as you set sail. For example, Greg, the gold geek, is our designated loot protector, so when the time comes, you unleash Greg for Step 2. Concealment tactics. You must prepare the loot based on importance, commendation, expensive, and bait. You'll be surprised to know that baiting the enemy with lesser, most useless loot works most of the time, as many crews chase for the satisfaction of stealing, not focusing on what to steal. Heck, I even once made a brigantine chase me for half an hour over a chest of legends that I did not even have. Unless they see you sailing away from a Legend of the Veil or a major world event, then they know what you have. But still, not the biggest problem, as this is where we are at step 3. Divide and conquer. Once you bury treasure, a map appears on your table. If a pirate sneaks onto your ship, they can steal it. And by the way, stealing a map bundle from an enemy ship gives you this mask. And also, if you sink, the map will float. They can only know where to locate the treasure once they apply the map to their voyage table on their ship. And that's what we want to take advantage of, the moment when you sink. But before that, here's how we prepare. Once you finish your main event or voyage, get the robot to harpoon the critical treasure from the island. Do not let your loot touch your ship. Then row to another island of choice while your ship proceeds to the next destination and bury that loot in the grass. As the patchery grows, it's tough to spot wrinkly sands where buried treasure is if someone else is there. Only dock the robot to your ship if you plan to sell that loot, as that means the treasure touching your ship counted for the emissary reputation for your flag. This way we can instead save that reputation for later in case we sink and lose the flag. Now that critical loot is secured, you have the map on the table. Here's the trick. Getting rid of the evidence, removing the map from your table, and burying more loot after that will create a new one, allowing you to separate your loot into several maps creating a distraction, fake maps, and actual maps. Keep a note of the map with the most valuable treasure, and safely leave it on any other island on the way, in a bush or in a cave somewhere. You can do that by jumping off in the water and swimming. Do not use a robot to secure the valuable map, as robots are very easy to spot from a distance, and the best part is, 
You don't even have to return to that map. Take screenshots with your phone or remember where they are. Here's why. Buried treasure will only despawn if the map bundle that leads to it despawns. And that only happens if no player comes within the range of the map for about an hour or even more. But it's not consistent for the exact time of its despawning, as servers sometimes change that based on available resources. But it's usually never less than an hour, sometimes even up to 4 hours. If you want more time, you can send someone there to pick up the map and drop it off again in the same spot to reset its timer. Now, whether you sink or not, the enemy can't know where the expensive treasure is, since it only exists in your head. As for the bait loot, you don't need to take anything with you. This can be done while you are being hunted. Let's say you're being chased, and you secured your important treasure and the map is in a safe place. Fire off a cannon while being chased, find an item on any island, usually larger ones are guaranteed to have something along the shorelines. Make sure it's not a keg, since these do not generate maps. Bury the item anywhere, then return to the ship. The map will appear on your table. Now you are ready to go for the fight, if you feel like it. And it's actually a good way to do that. You will learn from the battle and it's a win either way. Now that you set your stage, you might sink them or if you sink, you lose nothing and they won't chase you anymore. Because if they put the map on the table, they're gonna go to that island and find cheap stuff. This way, you can feed the beast while you feast. They get the heart attack. Meanwhile, fresh fish and fruits are safely hiding away for you to celebrate. Whenever you are ready, return to your treasure trove and sell for the biggest reward. Results may vary and glory may shine differently from one crew to another. Please subscribe for more tips and tricks. Thank you for your time.